Hey guys, just logging in here today to let you know what's going to happen today. Um, first of all, I want to share my last Irish Red Ale with you guys. It just gets better with every bottle. And I ordered some more some more yesterday, but I uh, ordered the All Grain Kit and I also ordered the Kolsch All Grain Kit as well. So I'm going to have those two coming in. Um, today I'm going to be bottling my Caribou Slobber. Um, there's been an issue with the uh, fermentation process of it. For some reason it was done fermenting long before it was supposed to be. It's supposed to be going through two sessions of fermentation. The, you know, the first uh, session and then the second. But for some reason, in the first, within the first three days, the fermentation stopped. The first three days it was furiously fermenting. It was just bubbling like crazy. But after that second or third day it just completely stopped and it hasn't done anything since. So I uh, checked the alcohol level, and the alcohol level is four point, or is, is around four, is around four percent alcohol. So supposedly, from what I uh, read up on the internet, a lot of people's had the same problems with the Dan Star yeast, uh, with the Caribou Slobber. The problem is, is they're all coming up to around one point zero two zero alcohol uh, at your final gravity reading, and that's what I came up with. The exact, this is the exact same thing. One point zero. To zero and and the and the beginning uh, gravity level was 1.051, so it's roughly a little over four percent alcohol. And I'm going to go ahead and bottle it today because a lot of people said they had to bottle it at, at that amount too because it just didn't do anything after that. And you know the only way to get more alcohol out of that is to use the smack pack. And the people who use the smack packs. Actually, alcohol's final gravity levels were 1.012 or 1.010, which would have been better. But, you know, it is what it is, and it's beer, and, and from what I can tell, it smelt pretty good. So I'm going to bottle that up today, and you'll be seeing images of that here after this video. But I just wanted to share with you guys the final Irish Red Ale. Very smoky. Um, I got high hopes for this one. Look at the head on that. It's amazing what three weeks will do, isn't it? Makes you not want to try your beer the first week, the second week, and just wait for the third and the fourth and the fifth week. Very clear. Very clear. Loaded with carbonation and has a very nice head on it. And that head is not dissipating whatsoever at the moment. Cheers. Mm. That's a very creamy malty flavor and the bitterness of the hops and, the, and the, you get a slight roasty flavor as well. I guess that's where the darkness comes from. The color, that very deep copper amberish color is, is gorgeous. I mean it's just a very gorgeous beer. And I cannot wait to brew the whole grain. It's just a delicious extract kit this was. And the whole grain, I hope, is just as good. But I wanted to share this with you guys today. Um, I also wanted to share with you uh, the building that I've been putting up. Um, I, it's raining today, so I can't do anything else because I'm actually... Uh, sorry guys, I had to uh, use my phone now. For some reason, my wife's camera went on the fritz. Uh, no matter how many times I put different batteries in it, and knowing that they were good batteries, it kept saying that the batteries were exhausted. So, I'm using my cell phone right now. Anyways, as I was getting to, uh, the building that I'm working on is going to be, this going to be my brew shop and my uh, music uh, studio is still in the works. I've got all the walls up on the outside of it. I can't do the roof or anything right now. The trusses, the sheeting, and the roofing only because it's raining and been windy and stuff like that. But uh, you should be seeing some pictures of the outside of it here in just a moment. But anyways, I just wanted to chime in here and let you guys see everything that's going on and, and to know what's coming in the future and, and to see that I'm in this for the long haul. And this is I'm definitely not quitting this. This is just delicious stuff. So, And it's something that I'm going to enjoy, a hobby that I'm going to enjoy from here on out. And, you know, like I want to thank uh, Craig's Tube. Craig's, Craig's Tube is uh, uh, watching his shows kind of got me into the jump 
of doing this and I really want to put a shout out to him and say thank you I appreciate it and I am still enjoying your videos and I hope you make many more videos in the future that I can enjoy and anyways you have a good one 17 my friend and everybody else out there y'all have a good one cheers <clears throat> oh man 17 see guys this is what I was talking about this thing just is done for me and it's not doing anything this right here if it was full of CO2 it's usually pushed up over here and this is usually quite full and you got bubbles popping up and like I said I've been sitting it's been sitting here for at least an hour or two and I haven't seen it do anything now if I push down on it you'll get a little bubble action but that's because there's already CO2 already built up inside of there and other than that it's not doing anything but anyways I'll be back here shortly I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, uh, racked over into my bottling bucket and get it all cleaned up and ready for uh, some beer guys something else I wanted to show you something I learned from Craig's too um, making this uh, homemade wine uh, I got a uh, two two half gallon uh, jugs of Welch's uh, white grape and cherry juice in there um, it's 100% juice I read on the back of it it's got pretty much all juice it's got a couple uh, acids in it but they're natural and the only and, and it also has no preservatives or any artificial flavors the only thing that it does have is red 40 and you can see that in there as well it's the, actually a food coloring or a dye but I wanted to show you guys this and this should be done in a week. I just bottled this today, and I'm kind of excited to check check it out because this flavor of juice is 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 great. I love the flavor of this juice, and I think the flavor of the wine that will be made with this juice would be just great. This, hey guys, as you can see inside of this, it's it's quite clear looking. Uh, well, it's not really clear. I mean, but you can tell that you know it's probably pretty much done there really isn't anything going on in here there's a few debris floating around in here that might be because I started up uh, earlier yesterday but you know oh well what are you gonna do right I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this and put it into the bottling bucket and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the bottles and I'll be back shortly hey everybody I got all my beers bottled in 22 ounce containers getting ready to put the caps in them and that'll be a night then uh, next thing, I'm waiting on my Kolsch, and I'm also waiting on my new Irish Red Ale, which are all grain uh, brews. And it's you know it's just something. This here's all grain brew as well. This is an extract. This is a uh, caribou slobber all grain. Um, I delved into this almost immediately after doing the extract kits because people said that the flavors are you can all, you can tell a difference in the flavors and it, that all grain is better. So I'm gonna test it out myself and check it out and see how it goes. But anyways, guys and gals whoever is brewing out there because both guys and gals can do this but anyways y'all have a good one and uh it's it's really a fun hobby to take on and do anyways y'all have a good one and take care 17 and cheers